So what is percentage yield? For any chemical reaction, normally we calculate the amount of the product produced based on the balanced equation we have, and we assume that we will get 100% of the product, or we would assume that all the reactants will react perfectly well to give us the product. However, this is not the true case, and normally we will get less than we expect. So yield is the amount of the product that we actually get. So to calculate the percent, uh, percentage yield, we find the mass of the product that were actually made or produced and divide that by the maximum theoretical mass of the products and multiply this by 100 to get the percentage yield. The percentage yield can be anything between 0 and 100%. Zero yield means no reaction at all, uh, no product at all was uh, produced, so your yield is basically 0%. And 100% means that all the expected products was obtained. So let's have an example to see how to calculate the percentage yield. The uh, question says that when 4 grams of copper oxide reacted with methane gas, 2.8 gram of copper was produced. What is the percentage yield of the reaction? And here it gives you the atomic weight of, um, of hydrogen, copper, and oxygen. So you have, first thing you need to do is to write the balanced equations in order to accurately calculate the um, expected amount of product that should be produced or the maximum expected product mass. So in this reaction, one mole of methane reacts with four mole of copper oxide to give you four moles of copper, two moles of water, one mole of carbon dioxide. In this reaction, you can see that four moles of copper oxide will give you four moles of copper, so equimolar. Now we need to find the actual moles of copper oxide that reacted. And to find the number of moles, we simply divide mass by the formula mass. So 4 divided by the formula mass of copper oxide, which is 79.5, that will give you 0 0.05 moles. So 0 0.5 uh, 5, uh, moles of copper oxide will actually used in this reaction. And if the reaction goes 4 moles of copper oxide, it gives you 4 moles of Cover, that means also the maximum expected number of moles of cover to be produced is 0 0.05 moles. Now the maximum ma mass of cover to find the mass from the mole, this is the maximum mass to be uh, produced from this reaction. We multiply the moles by the uh, formula mass, so 0 0.05 times 63.5, that will give you 3.19 gram. So the maximum product that is expected from this reaction is 3.19 gram. Now we need to calculate the uh, percentage yield, so the actual uh, mass that we that were produced or the actual yield that was produced which is 2.8 gram here divided by the uh, maximum uh, mass that is expected which is 3.19 multiplied by 100 so equals 88 percent so the percentage yield is 88 percent so you only got 88 percent of what was expected so why we will never get 100% yield. We will always get less than 100% yield. There are several reasons for that. First of all, not all the reactants um, will react to make the product. Sometimes some of the reactants don't react at all, and you have a mixture of the reactants with the products at the end of the reaction. So you wouldn't get 100% of your product. Another thing is the possibility of having some side reactions. So you get other products other than the ones you are expecting from the reaction. The third reason is that during your workup, when you try to get your product in a pure form at the end to uh, measure its mass, then some of that product may be 